Hello, my name is Tom Kine, author of Fish Tales. Welcome to a quick guide to buying fish. I'm going to go and buy all my fresh fish for my fish stew. And for that, I'm going to take some John Dory. Now, this is a beautiful fish. It's also called St. Peter's fish because he left his thumbprint in it when he left it behind. And it's got quite a lot of spines all around the back of the gills, all down the sides here. I think that's nature's way saying it tastes delicious and predators need to beware. So I'm going to take a John Dory. The other fish I'm going to use is a rock fish. Now this is a beautiful fish and again it's got lots of spines on it. Be really careful of those when you're prepping the fish because what can happen is if it, it stabs into your finger you'll get blood poisoning. Now not badly, you're not going to die but it's going to really hurt and it's going to make your thumb swell up so just really be careful of that. And the third fish from my fish stew is a monkfish or a stargazer because you can see what it does is it, uh, it hides in the sand in the bottom and it has little kind of tentacles that little fish come up and think that it's food and they come up and then it just snaps it like that. It's got really big meaty fillets here. It's gonna be perfect for our fish stew. I love these kind of places. I'd much rather be in here in a sweet shop. I could be here all day. To start our Provencal fish stew, I'm gonna cook off my vegetables. I've got a hot pan, add a little bit of olive oil, and then we're gonna add chopped fennel, onion, celery, red pepper, and garlic. A couple of bay leaves, a sprig of thyme, some black pepper, salt, a couple of strips of orange zest, a good pinch of cayenne pepper, and then a pinch of saffron. Just add some white wine. While that's cooking down, I'm cooking off the alcohol, I'm gonna prepare my fish. This one is called rockfish. It's got a lovely, dense texture to it, and we're just gonna cut it into pieces like that. We're gonna leave the skin on so that it just looks beautiful in our fish stew. And then we're gonna add our hot stock. Now the second fish that we're going to use today is a John Dory. Now this is a delicious fish to use. It's nice and meaty. And then again, just cut it into small pieces. My third fish that I'm using for my fish stew is some monkfish. Now this is an absolutely spectacular fish. It's really meaty and dense. And then we're also gonna add some fresh prawns as well. So we've got prawns, rockfish, John Dory, and monkfish to go in our Provencal fish stew. To start off with, we're just gonna scoop out all of the good bits from our base, so the onion and the pepper and all of that kind of stuff. You don't have to puree it all, so a little bit of texture is fine. We're just gonna blend that together. Now these pureed vegetables are gonna get returned to the rest of our soup. Season it with a little bit of orange juice, which is just gonna make it absolutely delicious. We're then gonna season our fish with salt and pepper, and then add the fish to the pan. What we're gonna do, get a lovely big bowl like this, scoop out some lovely big bits of fish, spoon the rest of the lovely juice on the top. And what you do is spread some of the rui on the toast and drop it into the soup, then a pinch of the Gruyere cheese, and that just goes on the top like that. And what you have is this classic Provencal fish stew. It's absolutely delicious, it's full of rich flavors. It's really, really tasty. I'm gonna get some prawns from my Hanoi prawn cakes. Now these are great, they're really juicy, they're gonna be great for the barbecue, but they're a little bit too big and a bit too expensive for what I need them for. Now these prawns over here are much smaller, they're still nice and plump, and for this dish I could use fresh or frozen prawns, and I'm gonna need about a kilo. I'm gonna make some Hanoi prawn cakes. Now these are delicious little Vietnamese cakes. To start off with, I'm gonna make a batter, and I've got 80 grams of rice flour, 120 grams of plain flour. Now to that we're gonna add a pinch of sugar, a pinch of salt, and about a quarter of a teaspoon of baking powder. Mix that together with about 150 mils of cold water. Now into here, we're gonna grate some kumara. My next ingredient are the spring onions. Finely slice them. Now I'm gonna chop my prawns. We need to season that really well with some salt and pepper. So then just mix that together. I've got some oil on the pan, nice and hot. We're gonna to start to fry those. So while those are cooking, I'm just gonna prepare my dressing. So chilies chopped in there like that. Three cloves of garlic, little pinch of sugar, and a pinch of salt. Add about three tablespoons of boiling water. That is just gonna go in there like that. Now to that, we're gonna add fish sauce. Some lime juice. These are absolutely perfect. Just drain them on some kitchen paper. So some mint leaves, some dill, 
then some coriander, some bean sprouts as well. Dip it in the dressing like that. I'm in absolute heaven. For recipes using sustainable seafood, see my latest book, Fish Tales, available in bookstores now.